Hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the fourth PyCon Sweden. It's nice to see the full crowd here. Uh, just I'm going to go through some practicalities and some welcoming notes before we'll give the stage to Emily. So without further ado, like if you, if you want to talk about this conference, which I hope you want, like please use the hashtag on the, on the slides, the PyCon SC. That way we can actually monitor stuff ourselves and how you feel about the conference per se. Uh, some practicalities regarding this venue. Uh, first thing is that, whoa. Okay, that's enough. We're, we're sold out, so this venue fits 200 people. Not everyone is here yet, but since we're going to be in this room all day long, uh, I'd appreciate for people filling it up from the wall side, so people who come in late can fill, fit in, and in general we have a, in general we can fit people in here during the conference. Uh, if you had a special diet, uh, we unfortunately have to ask you to go to the restaurant downstairs, uh, for to get that food, and you should have gotten a ticket with you uh, when you registered. That is a voucher for that food, and if if not, let us know, and we can we can look into what we can do. But the main point is that if you have a special diet, uh, you should go downstairs restaurant for the food. Everyone else is served in here and uh, in the in the floor we're in now. All right, so let's do a quick poll. How, for how many this is the first bike in Sweden? I can, I can do this one also. Yay. <laughs> uh, great. Uh, how many of you are from outside Sweden? Oh, that's nice. And then I think the most interesting part, who here lives in Sweden but doesn't live in Stockholm? Oh, that's cool. Nice. All right. Uh, a few words for those, like this is a sort of an elevator pitch for the conference, like how is the, how is the PyCon Sweden formed? So we started building this conference r right around like a year ago by securing the venue, uh, which is usually the biggest hassle, and then started figuring out what to do around the conference during the spring. As you can probably remember if you've been here before, the previous day conferences have been two days, two tracks, uh, and in a larger venue, though fitting like 280 people instead of the 200 we have now. And the reason for the actual reason that we scaled down a bit is the people volunteering. So we've had, for, for the majority of the year, we have had a five people crew, four board members of the organization that runs this, the nonprofit, and our last year's chairman. <laughs> oh. Who've been, uh, who've been responsible for uh, putting all this together. Today we have a bunch of uh, awesome volunteers helping us with this one, like doing all the practical stuff, like running the registration. But anyway, uh, my gist here is that we would love to have more people running this one, uh, and we will do a pitch afterwards, the conference. If you're interested, just grab any of, our, or any of us organizers. You can identify us from the purple t-shirts that are still on the way to the conference venue. So this, all this kind of stuff happens. Uh, but please grab any of us because we would really want to have more hands next year. Okay, I'm gonna just trot along faster. Uh, another big thing was Metal Alpen. They are our this year's launch sponsor. Basically, we were flat out broke in the spring, with, which meant that we couldn't do any four payments. Uh, so this is the one fun part of the running a non-profit organization. Uh, and they chimed in, Metal Open with Freddy Hort chimed in with a quite generous sponsorship to actually make it possible for us to start run, like really running this conference. So one part of, of this is also the generosity of the companies who actually provide us some sponsorships that get us over the cliff of actually starting running and be more secure in the financial wise. This year we also have two uh, other uh, largest sponsors, Pingdom and Fundic. They have been also part of financing this one, which hopefully for a lot of you means that we can actually offer the cheaper personal tickets and the student tickets. And you should definitely pay them attention, attention outside on the breaks because they both have a booth there. All right. Then how can you help? Uh, 
you can just, you can just, if you don't want to take part in your organization, please spread the word, because I think that's the best way. Be, more people hear about this conference, like enjoy the day and spread the word, and we'll hopefully run this bigger and greater next year again. So thank you for that one. <laughs>